The attitude towards robotics and artificial intelligence AI, is changing just as fast as the technology itself. Today, robots are no longer just in science fiction movies. They are everywhere. Just like how we rely on apps and cloud services to perform tasks in the digital world, automation plays a key role in the physical world too, opening up new opportunities for innovation. In fact, the WEF predicts that robot automation will displace some jobs, but also create more than 12 million net new jobs and opportunities by 2025. Now that technology is advancing, engineers have made some of the craziest robots that will blow your mind. So watch this video till the end because in today's video, we're going to see the top 12 robots in 2022. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates on the channel. With that being said, let's start with number 12, Yoshi and Yolanda. Yoshi and Yolanda are futuristic robots that boost productivity while offering guests a valuable, intuitive and unique service. These are the service robots at Yotel, Singapore, on Orchard Road, an ultra-luxury hotel with 610 state-of-the-art cabins. Yotel redefines luxury for today's travelers, inspired by first-class travel and smart design. The brand stands out from others in the industry because of its innovative attitude. The hotel continuously invests in technologies that improve productivity, optimize resource allocation, and remove low-value tasks to make them more efficient and elevate the guest experience. In a time of labor shortages, Yotel Singapore has a clever solution. Introducing robots to raise the bar in operational efficiency while making guests' experience more convenient, more enjoyable, and more memorable. In only one year of opening, Yotel Singapore has achieved over 80% average occupancy and consistently higher than average gross operating profits. On the online hotel review site, TripAdvisor, Yoshi and Yolanda are mentioned in 21% of reviews, with many guests attributing their choice of accommodation to the robots. Now, number 11, Tiger X. The transforming, intelligent ground excursion robot, Tiger, is Hyundai Motor Group's second ultimate mobility vehicle, UMV, and the first one to operate autonomously. It's designed to go over challenging terrain with a variety of payloads. The X in Tiger X1 stands for experiment. Hyundai unveiled the Tiger on 10th of February in Seoul. Hyundai Motor Group's New Horizons studio in Mountain View, California, is where Tiger is being developed with Autodesk and Sunberg Ferrar. The Tiger has a big load bay. This is intended for transporting large loads over rough terrain or for delivering aid packages in an emergency. It's a modular platform with a leg and wheel locomotion system, 360-degree directional control and sensors for remote observation. Even when moving over extreme terrain, this combination of a leg and wheel will keep the load bay level. As soon as the Tiger's legs are retracted, it drives like an all-wheel drive vehicle. In this mode, the UMV is most efficient. If the vehicle can't traverse terrain with its wheels alone, it'll rely on its walking ability. Number 10. Far The world's orchards are getting harder to harvest because there are fewer fruit pickers available. The COVID-19 travel restrictions have prevented seasonal workers from crossing borders. So, some farmers are turning to AI drones to pick their crops. Even before the pandemic, it was getting harder to get people for picking. In order to help with the problem, an Israeli company named Tevel Aerobotics Technologies has invented a flying autonomous robot, FAR, that uses artificial intelligence, AI, to identify and pick fruit in the field. The robot works 24 hours a day, picks only ripe fruit, and can work for as long as it is needed. In order to locate fruit trees and classify fruit size and ripeness, the FAR robot uses AI perception algorithms and vision algorithms. During this process, the robot works out how to approach the fruit and maintain stability at the same time as its picking arm grasps the fruit. Awesome, right? Number 9. Baobot Baobot, a prototype robot developed by Austrian startup Prince Stones after it has finished over 100 pilot projects, combines a modular design approach with an open-source component system. The goal of the company is to utilize any tool at any location. Basically, this means that any third party can develop and add their own applications and tools to the mobile robot. Developers can use an SDK as an interface to the robot's functionality. Baobot is capable of handling and transporting building material, observation, screw driving, plasma cutting, milling and drilling, climbing stairs, and driving through doors, not to mention the applications in concrete 3D printing, collaborative reinforcement integration, and more. The vehicle has a maximum speed of 3.2 km per hour with a possible payload of 500 kg. 
The positioning of the robotic arm has an accuracy of below 1 mm. As of now, the operation time can be up to 8 hours, depending on the application. The mobile robot can be controlled manually or pre-programmed, in which case the robot's day can be simulated ahead of time. Baobot uses a standard transporter and doesn't require much setup. Number 8. Gundam Dock Yokohama's Gundam factory has successfully created an 18-meter tall moving Gundam robot on the outside of the building, a legendary dream made possible. The facility has been divided into two areas, the Gundam Dock and the Gundam Lab. Gundam Dock serves as a place for storing and repairing the giant robot, while Gundam Lab is used as an exhibition room where visitors can learn more about Gundam robots and how they are designed. Visitors can be able to witness the incredible moving body and head of the giants up close from a height of 15 to 18 meters on a special viewing platform on the Gundam Dock Tower located on the Gundam Dock. People from all over the world who want to see a real giant robot will want to keep an eye on their calendars and the coronavirus, because once the project closes next year on March 31st, 2023, this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity will be lost. Number 7. Titan Robot GTEx the robot, also known as Titan the robot, is actually an android that is physically and electronically manipulated from the inside by a human dancer. Titan stands 2.20 meters, 7 foot 3 inches tall and weighs approximately 47 kilograms. Cyberstein Robots, a company based in the United Kingdom, was created in 2004. They have already created five different Titan models, and for the sixth and seventh versions, MK6 and MK7, they plan to make the robot truly autonomous. It will run without any human involvement. Number 6. Einstein Robot Hansen Robotics is working on a plan to bring Albert Einstein back to life. Professor Einstein was the star attraction at CES 2017, and the Hong Kong-based company has now launched a Kickstarter project looking to raise $99,898 for the robot. Professor Einstein, which was named one of the best robots at the Consumer Electronics Show in February, is a scaled-down version of Hansen's Einstein Huber robot. Both look eerily similar to Einstein himself, right down to his wiry hair. It is a 14.5-inch tall Wi-Fi-connected edutainment robot that talks, walks, and acts as your personal science mentor as well as an excellent friend. Professor Einstein, which has a battery life of 3 hours, teaches science lessons and plays educational games using the Steinomatic app for tablets, Android or iPad. Professor Einstein will guide you through interactive lessons using your tablet, including daily mental kickstarts, space travel, time travel, and much more. When you place the tablet in his presence, he will be able to communicate both online and offline with you. Professor Einstein's personality is quite engaging. He recognizes your voice, tells science-related jokes, and shares science facts. If you ask Einstein about the weather, he'll tell you to count crickets to figure out the temperature. Professor Einstein isn't as fast as Amazon Echo or Google Home, but his personality should be enough. Number 5. Cyberdog Xiaomi has developed its very own breed of quadruped robots, the Cyberdog, riffing on Boston Dynamics' Spot Quadrupeds. Open source robot companion is fueled by a Jetson Javier Annex Platform AI supercomputer provided by NVIDIA, which features 84 CUDA cores, 48 Tensor cores, and a 6 Carmel ARM CPU coupled with two deep learning acceleration engines. As the robot roams around, it uses 11 sensors that provide the robot with instant feedback, allowing it to navigate and interact with the environment around it. In addition to the pet factor, the robotic pet follows its owner like a faithful puppy while responding to voice commands. It is built on an open source platform which allows users to personalize their new friends according to their preferences. Xiaomi says Cyberdog can perform backflips, carry a maximum load of 3 kilograms, and trot along at speeds of 3.2 meters per second compared to spots 1.6 meters per second. Number 4. Bot Handy Samsung introduced its Bot Handy at CES in 2021. It's a mobile robot that can recognize objects around the house and help out with chores. Samsung showcased a technology at CES 2021 that could pick up a single object. Now they're doing something called tableware handling. This technology enables the robot to pick items up after recognizing multiple objects and analyzing the surrounding environment. This updated technology allows Samsung Bot Handy to make your life easier with three amazing features. Dexterous manipulation using a robot arm and hand control, general object handling using a combination of AI and grasping, and extended workspace in 3D space using mobility and elevation. 
Getting more advanced manipulation technology this year, it can recognize a wide variety of shapes and positions. Even if something is transparent or slightly blocked, it can still grasp it without colliding. When you let the Samsung bot handy do things around the house like clean up messy rooms or sort out dishes after a meal, you can focus on the important stuff. Research at Samsung forces on improving AI and robotics to make them more affordable and effective for commercial use. They'll make technology that makes users' lives easier, happier, and more convenient by closely interacting with them. Number 3. T-Robot Tina V Medical Technologies has developed the T-Robot orthopedic robot, and it has provided new technology to facilitate the precise placement of pedicle screws with impressive accuracy. T-Robot consists of the following main components, a robot arm, an optical tracking device, surgical planning, and a control workstation. Number 2. Henna Hotel The Henna Hotel in Nagasaki, Japan, is staffed by multilingual robots, so guests are sure to have a great stay. Guests are checked in by robots, one of which speaks English, and porter robots take luggage to the rooms. In case of a problem, a human staff is also on hand 24 by 7 but the main staff is the robots, and you can chat with them. As one of the Japanese definitions of hen to change refers to the hotel's commitment to evolution in striving for extraordinary sensations and comforts beyond the ordinary. Another interesting feature of this hotel is facial recognition, so you don't have to worry about forgetting your key cards. Alternatively, if facial recognition isn't your thing, you can use a key card instead. And last but not least, number 1. Snailfish Robot Inspired by a strange fish that can survive the deepest reaches of the ocean, scientists have devised a soft robot that can keep flapping its fins even in the Mariana Trench. Researchers at Shejiang University in Hongzhou, China, have successfully tested the robot's ability to swim at depths ranging from 70 meters to nearly 11,000 meters. Interestingly, the Challenger Deep is the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, the lowest of the low. It's 10,900 meters deep. That's about a thousand times the atmospheric pressure at sea level from all that water on top. So about 103 million pascals. Therefore, this robot can dive into the deepest parts of the Earth. And that's it for today's video. We hope you found the video interesting and useful. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll catch up later. Peace.